You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. Mobile, cellular, device, gaming. Yo, what's up, massive family? We're playing a new game today. It's Game of War Fire Age. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me for a long time if I play Game of War. I had never played it before, but a couple days ago I picked it up on the App Store and I've been sinking some time into it. I wanted to see what all the hubbub was about. I felt kinda out of the loop with how popular this game is, but regardless, uh, for those of you that don't know what Game of War is, it's a mobile strategy game. You can get it on Android, you can get it on iOS, and it's it's about the Game of War. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be practicing the Game of War. We're going to be attacking two kingdoms. Well, we'll be attacking two kingdoms if we succeed with the first attack. If we don't succeed with the first attack, then we may not be able to piece together enough resources to attack a second kingdom. Anyway, before we attack a kingdom, I would really like to get to level 15, and we also need to get some more food because you can't march on an empty stomach. So we're going to build a farm and produce some more food. As you can see, our wheat icon at our resource panel at the top of the screen is flashing red. That means that we're spending more than we're earning. And that is not good. So, uh, we're gonna build that farm and we're also going to train some more troops. And then we should be good to go. We should have an ex experience earned to be at level 15 and then we'll launch our attacks and assault on two separate kingdoms. As you can see, we don't have that many troops right now, so we definitely need to make some more. This is definitely a time management game, so we're going to try to maximize our time here to produce the best amount of effort possible. Excellent, we definitely meet those requirements. We're going to use our free uh, speed up to upgrade it to level 2, and we'll do another upgrade, upgrade it again. We got some free boosts here, which is nice. We'll be running out of free boosts here very soon. I think with the next upgrade, we're going to be out of them. Nope. One more. One more. Yep, here we go. Now we have to ask our alliance for help. We're going to go ahead and click that help button. And all of our alliance members can choose to help us or not. If they help us, if we get the necessary amount of help, then we'll be able to build it much faster. And as you can see, we've got a lot of people we need to help as well. So we're going to hit that help all button, help out our brothers and sisters in our alliance. And being in an alliance is really key. Look at that, someone else needed help just after we pressed it. And we got enough help. Uh, we have spent enough time where we can now upgrade our farm very quickly for free. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see, our wheat icon is no longer flashing red. So we have the necessary amount of food for now to feed our army. But that's going to change very quickly as we're going to go ahead and build more siege troops because if we're going to be attacking a kingdom, we definitely want to take down their walls, we want to take down their defenses, and there's nothing better at that than siege. So let's see, what do we want to build? We'll build a, a, a fair number of them. Let's go with 69. Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> 69 is always the magic number. One of the things we need to do to like level up is get XP. And you can get XP by completing quests. As you, We just completed two quests. I didn't even realize we did. You complete quests by either going on them or like performing a, a, a certain quota. Like leveling up your farm to level 8, for instance, will give you an empire quest. And then you've got these other quests like daily quests, alliance quests, VIP quests, and we're going to go ahead and start on some of those. We'll do some of the shorter ones because they'll ex we'll complete them while I'm still playing the game and I can go ahead and do another short one. And then when I'm, you know, power off my phone, I'll do a long one. Time management, we're going to spend some of our skill points in preparation of our hero assaulting the other kingdoms. And I'm going to go for... Two in research and one in troop training, just because research is uber important. Like, it takes a lot of time to research things now and then. So, we definitely want to get some points in there, and of course, troop training. We want to get our soldiers out there into the battlefield as fast as possible. All right, looking good. Oh, happy day. We just found a kingdom that we can attack, and I scouted it. Our scout just came back with a report. Let's see what it says about their kingdom. Oh, they ain't got nothing. Well, 
Uh, we're still gonna attack him. It's it's still a good first attack. Okay. Onward to attack the enemy. We're gonna go to the location right now. Hopefully, it's found. <laughs> oh, they're on fire. Damn! Somebody already steamrolled them. There's nothing there that we could take now. Well, I guess we'll go find somebody else to attack. Okay, so we've got our new opponent right here. We're gonna take this guy down, and we're not even gonna stat We're not even gonna scout him out first. We're just gonna we're gonna go for it. Let's see. He's got zero kills. Got a low amount of power. I think we got this one in the bag. This is a nice, comfortable starting off point. This will be the first real attack that I've done in the game. We're just gonna throw all of our troops in there. We're gonna bring in Alexandros, our mighty hero. Oh, cool. We got free. Nice. Our troops are on their way. We've got a minute and ten seconds to prepare. All right, so let's keep doing stuff. Nice. Nice gift. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna upgrade the academy while our troops are marching. It's very important to upgrade the academy, in my opinion, because I don't like waiting for research. Research takes a while. All right, let's see. Let's get that uh, XP from the daily quest, keep leveling up our hero, get more XP for him, and let's also go on the common quest. Oh, they're so close. They're so close. I'm getting nervous. My babies are going to kill for me. I hope they do well. We got a lot of stuff going on. Quests, level ups, building, attacks, marches. It's great. We're even training more troops while we're waiting to do this. It's got a low amount of power, so this will probably be a really easy win for us. Let's help our alliance members out. Let's always remember to help our brothers and sisters out. God, I love being in an alliance. It's so awesome, especially like <laughs> teleporting to their hive and being near all the other kingdoms. Okay, that's a good sign. Their kingdom's on fire. Come on, troops. You got this. Okay, they're walking away. Hey, how'd you guys do? Let me know. Let me <laughs> I'll buy you a beer if you did good. Kill zero. That's a good sign. All right, they don't have beer. What, what's a medieval drink? Ale? I'll buy a round of ale. Round of ale on the house. Victory! Victory! <laughs> nice! Wait. What's that number of silver that we got? It's over nine th Yes, I quite like this wall thing. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> All right, so we've got somebody else we're gonna take down. He's got 25,000 power, zero kills, so we have no experience, and we're gonna throw everything we got. 4.6 thousand troops. They are on their way, and they've got about 24 minutes to get to him, which is, Look at this. This is massive. This is such a huge expanse. You got kingdoms, griffins, farms, docks, ports, uh, logging camps, quarries. It's such a big game. I'm. I was really impressed when I saw this for the first time. I think this is really cool. Like, the, just the, the scale. And there he is. He's on the edge of our like area, the edge of Taurus. This is going to be awesome. I'm kind of tense though. I'm. Gotta admit, I'm kind of tense. We're gonna keep leveling up our hero. We're gonna keep going after this quest, going after that XP. Okay. <sighs> we got 30 seconds. <laughs> we got 30 seconds before they, like, knock down Empire 1575's door. He's got zero battle experience, but he does have 25,000 power, so I'm sure he's got a lot of traps on his walls. And I am afraid we didn't bring enough siege. We probably should have brought more siege, but that's too late now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, here they go! Oh my god! Make their flesh boil, break their bones, set them afire, burn it all down to the ground. Come on, you can do it, man. I'll buy a round of ale, two rounds of ale on the house. Oh my god, they killed 297 of our guys. Not quite 300. Hopefully Leonidas got out. Leonidas and his lieutenants. Did we win, though? Oh, victory! Nice! We won! We got 20,000 silver. Not bad. But holy crap, we lost 690 power. He lost 1.1 thousand power, so... Uh, it's 
it's still a victory. I mean, it's a bittersweet victory, but them's the breaks. Thank you guys for tuning in with us for two attacks. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And check out Game of War on the App Store. It's, it's free to play. It's on Android. It's on iOS. If you liked what you saw, give it a shot. And as always, take care and game massively. See you next time, guys.